Hello, welcome to a brand new episode of Watch Us Play. We're here with Familiar Ground. I'm one of your hosts, Joey Davidson, alongside... Michael White. Hey! hey. Uh-huh, there he is, yeah. It's Titanfall! Again. Again. But better. But better, more improved, faster, more Newer. intense. Mm-hmm. This is actually the full retail build. You know, I'm a level 25. Now, I completed the campaign, of course. I think I have maybe seven hours in this game, six hours, which isn't impressive or anything. I'm not very good. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever seen this map. And there's a couple maps that I haven't seen. Supposedly there's a, a lagoon map as well that's huh. pretty awesome. Do, I mean, do you find you get repeat maps a lot? or? There's one or two that I see a lot, but yeah. the campaign only takes place over nine maps, and you play them each from different... Oh, oh, different. <laughs> you play them each from different factions, so it's 18 maps, but I believe there's 12 maps in the full game. So okay. there's three out there that just like you won't see unless you play the, the classic multiplayer. Gotcha. Uh, Titanfall's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have unlocked quite a bit, and I've I've seen obviously the whole campaign. That whole thing takes about two and a half hours to beat. It's just it's 18 matches. That's all it is, uh, and it's a mix of attrition and hard point. Attrition is your deathmatch style, and hard points your you know your capture, capture and hold node thing. Capture nodes. <laughs> so it's pretty good, man. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it brought Xbox Live to its knees <laughs> on day one. Like, the whole service. As most multiplayer games do now that when they release. I mean, but it's not even like it brought Titanfall. Like, you couldn't play Titanfall. You couldn't even get on Xbox Live. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah, amazing. man. It, it, just, it, it just said, you know what? We'll <laughs> shit on everything. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. So, uh, you, I take it, haven't played this since the beta? No. That's right. You're missing out on a lot of awesome equipment, a lot of upgrades. Yeah, you could only get up to a certain level in the beta. 14. Right? So you could only, there's only so much I could unlock, but mm-hmm. now I'm starting to feel like I'm missing out. It's good. It's good, and, and, and I think someone released a comparison video, a graphics comparison video between the Xbox One and PC, and there's really not that much of a difference. Uh, there's some subtle texture differences, but, you know... As you would expect, this is running on a modified version of the Source Engine. Right. So it shouldn't be that taxing. You like my little <laughs> hair? Your little, your little flare move. Things go south here pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, I'm just like, I got this guy. Oh. Not so much. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one of the new Titans you get to play with, the Ogre. Yeah, you're telling me you unlock this. It's like a pretty beefy guy that you. Yeah, have. this is when you play through the campaign, the second campaign, the the IMC campaign, uh, the militia campaign. You get the Strider, which I think that dude like right on my right that you just saw, he has the Strider. And then on the IFC campaign, you get this badass <laughs> ogre, and he's just he's just a crap load of health. His special ability is a ridiculous shield. I will punch you. To and death. And bro. walk away. To death. <laughs> I run away from every Titan I fight now just because of that stupid nuclear explosion. Yeah. But, it, I mean, dude, honestly, Titanfall's been a lot of fun. I, I, If you're an Xbox One owner especially and you don't own this game, you're just being silly. <laughs> so. So you see this uh, being something you'll play for a while? Not, um, getting, not getting tiresome, you're learning new things? I'm going to say that, and, and this is just my current impression of the game, as it stands right now, I kind of can't justify it being sixty dollars. Ah. Uh, Twelve maps and and ten guns, you know, with a with a campaign <laughs> zapped with a campaign That's like your a, one good move you did the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. And I'm getting rodeoed here. Don't worry. DJ. Oh. Gosh. Uh, one campaign. Or, like, in a crappy campaign that just does nothing but audio dialogue over top of multiplayer. It's so loud that you can't even fucking hear the <laughs> audio dialogue anyway. Like, that, that is valueless to me. Twelve maps, yeah, that's cool. And ten guns? Mm, we're starting to get a little... I feel like Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare was too expensive at $40 because there's only, like, a handful of maps and three game modes. Titanfall has five game modes and 12 maps. I feel like it would have been in the sweet spot at 40 bucks. I know that they would never do that, but this is for lack of, of a better definition a multiplayer only game. Right. You know, I, I know that they're throwing campaign around it, but it's not, it's not a, guys, it's not a So campaign. this is just like, uh, what was it, uh, 1943? Yeah, Battlefield uh, 1943, I think. Which was just three, it was three really fucking good multiplayer maps, and that was it. Wasn't it like $10? Yeah, 
Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. But I mean, that's a that's a deal. That right. is a deal. Right. Uh, I'm not. I'm not deleting that. That's in there. It's going in the recording. I don't even know what what anyone could want from me. Anyway. Anyway. So I just. I, I, you know, I think I might catch a little bit of flack from that. I think some viewers might be like, oh, it's totally worth 60 bucks. If you bought this for $60 and you feel that you've gotten $60 worth of mileage out of it, that's awesome. I am not knocking you. I don't think you're wrong. Right. For me personally, for someone who maybe has an eye on a budget with games, like I don't buy very many games right now because of money being tight. Like I get games from work, thank goodness, but like if this wasn't sent to me for work... And I was like deciding if I wanted to buy it, I might hold off on the sixty dollar price tag. Right. I mean, obviously, there's room for them to like add more stuff later. Well, they won't do it for free. Uh, yeah. And you know that. I mean, hopefully they'll add some more game types for free. I could see that happening, like different playlists and stuff. I just wish everyone treated their multiplayer games like Bungie. Yeah. They figure out what community members like, and they're like, "Fuck it, let's just make a playlist of that shit." Right. So, anyway, this has been another episode of Watch Us Play as the match ends. I'm Joey Davidson alongside... Michael White. Mm -hmm. And you can check us out every week. Hopefully, we're trying to get back in the swing of things, and March is one hell of a month for games. Yep. So, we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.